Let me show you how to add different materials to a mesh. So we're going to use Suzanne over here. We're going to go to Material Properties, Add a New Material. And the first material type I'm going to use is going to be Glossy. And then I'm going to change the color to a yellow to make it gold. And give it a strength of, let's try 0 0.2. And look at this through our Material Viewport, which looks like that, or our Rendered Viewport that looks like that. And just for the fun, I'm going to add an environmental texture to this so we can see how gl the glossiness works. You can go to hdrhaven.com to find one. I'm just going to use this random one called Small Harbor. And there we go. So currently we don't see much of it, but if I right click Shade This Smooth, it's looking a little bit better. But I think it would look even better if I just added some subdivisions. There we go. These subdivisions do help a lot. So now when I mess with the roughness, there's no shine here. We bring this all the way down. There's maximum shine here. So perhaps 0 0.15 would be a nice amount of shine. It looks gold. So now how do we add another material? Well, we can press tab, go into edit mode, press 3 to choose face select and choose the faces that you want to be a different material. So in this case, I'm going to pr press shift and select what well, deselect everything press shift and select all the parts that i want to be a different color so i'm selecting them now and let's say we want the eyes to be like a stainless steel silver look we just add a new material we click new and in this case we'd have to use glossy again and we'd have to make this 0 0.1 and we click assign and as cool as that looks perhaps we want to use a different material like emerald for the other part of the eye so we're going to press select these parts here press, hold and shift and do the same on the other side There we go. Add a new material. In this case, we don't want to use a print, uh, a glossy material, but perhaps a, a material that is glass. And let's make this a red. Now, we click assign. You'll only see the true effect of this if we're looking at this through cycles, perhaps. But my computer sucks, so I'm going to leave it on EV for the time being. I'll render it out, but you get the idea. And let's say we want the top of the head over here to be an emission. So we once again go to our material viewport, add a new material, click new, and we change it from principal BSDF to emission. And we say, you know what, a good emission would be something like this, but let's give it a strength of 50. And we click sign. Obviously, you want to name these materials the color and type that they are, so it saves you some time. Uh, one thing you do want to do in your rendered viewport, if you decide to use EV uh, when you're using emissions, bloom is always a good option. Just makes it look a little bit more realistic. And screen space reflection is good for stuff that's glossy. All right, now you might decide, you know what, I like this, but I want the ears to have a slight, inside of them, have a slightly different material. I hope you're getting the idea. Please don't forget to like and subscribe you can have as many different types and amounts of material that you want to add to your scene quite easily and you can also just select a, a group like this and just for interest sake i'm not going to do the ears because i can't see all the verts unless i go into this mode but uh it's all right i'll just deselect that and just do the nose instead so let's say we want to do the nose, this part of the nose, and we click go to our materials, so we add a new material, we click new. In this case, we do want to use principal BSDF, but we want this to be black. Let's go back to our rendered view mode, and we click assign. And then on the outer rim here, yeah, deselect everything, hold in shift alt, and click this. You've got this rim around you, yeah? and we want to add a new material for this click new and this time we will make use of hmm let's use 
a mix shader. Now, the best thing to do if you want more control over this is switch to your shader editor and you'll find your mix shader here. And then we can just press Shift A and we can say we want to use two shaders. And the first shader we're going to use is um, an emission shader. The second shader we're going to use in this case is a glossy shader. Where is it? Here we go. And I'm pressing Shift A to make this pop up. Shift A pops this menu up. And we just connect this quickly. And I'm just going to give this a strength of 50 so it's easier to spot. And put this in the correct point. It's supposed to be in here. There we go. So, and I'm going to click Assign. So currently, if it's all the way this way, it's 100% emission. If it's all the way this way, it's 100% glossy. So 0 0.5 is like a split between the two. So you can choose how much of a split you like. And perhaps you want the glossiness to be a different color because why not? And the emission to be a different color as well. Go crazy. And let's choose 0 0.8. Press tab, go into object mode. And we have created a very interesting looking uh, creature here. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.